We kindly invite His Excellency, Mr. Gita Irawan Wiryama. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Indonesia, Bapak Dr. Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono. Excellencies, ministers, and members of the cabinet of the Republic of Indonesia. Excellencies, ministers, and senior government officials from all invited countries. His Excellency, Mr. Pascal Lamy, Director General of the World Trade Organization. His Excellency, Dr. Subhajai Panich Bhakti, the Secretary General of Hangzhou. Excellency Dr. Sudin Pitswan, Secretary General of ASEAN. Excellency Ms. Patricia Francis, the Executive Director of the ITC. Distinguished representatives of international organizations. Distinguished delegates and guests, ladies and gentlemen. A very good morning to all of you. On behalf of the Government of Indonesia, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the World Export Development Forum 2012 with the theme linking growth markets, new dynamics, and global trade. Let me start by thanking Ms. Patricia Francis and all of her team members in the ITC for their support and commitment in making this event possible today. This high-level forum with so many distinguished guest speakers and presenters will provide a great opportunity to discuss concerns, predicaments, and solutions concerning connectivity of the people, products, services, and markets within Indonesia, the region, and the rest of the world. As we plan the way forward, growth markets will continue to gain significance in the global standing perspective. The OECD anticipates that while the developed world would contribute about 60% of the world's GDP in the 90s, the trend is likely to reverse in less than two decades. Emerging countries could contribute to up to 60% of the global GDP by the year 2030. Indonesia, as a trillion dollar economy, will play a major part in this transition. That being said, there are four elements that will require a cohesive and prudent policy approach. <coughs> Recalibrating global trade focus, finding new ways to further integrate growth markets into global trade, improving competitiveness and connectivity, and distributing the benefits of closer economic integration fairly. Therefore, discussions at this forum will help us address these challenges and further deepen integration process with trading partners in the region and beyond. Ladies and gentlemen, and distinguished guests, the agenda for this timely forum has much space for thoughtful discussions and creative thinking. Today, we will set the tone by inquiring what the emergence of growth markets means for the future and explore the important issues of infrastructure development trade facilitation, and connectivity. Tomorrow, we will focus on some interrelated topics that are critical to strengthening supply chains, adding value, and meeting the demands of emerging consumers in growth markets. And on the last day, delegates will turn their attention to the equally important issue of trade finance. I'm confident that you will find the topics interesting, and in the process, I hope new insights innovative ideas would emerge. Thus, if we're able to overcome these obstacles, not only will we achieve efficiency, but we also will achieve inclusive growth with positive spillovers beyond our borders. I'm also confident that the government of Indonesia will continue to engage various stakeholders in developing policies and strategies. With this regard, I wish to acknowledge and thank the ITC once again for their support in organizing this very important <laughs> event. The ITC is an important partner in facilitating the expansion of trade in growth markets. Therefore, I encourage all participants to partake, partake in this discussion, 
do utilize this wonderful opportunity over these next few days to share your concerns and engage in constructive discussions. I wish you all well in your discussions today and the next two days. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.